Hello, everybody. Um, my name is Tobias Kaiser. Um, I'm going to present to you um, Chain Code Scanner. What is this Chain Code Scanner? It's a static analyzer which analyzes the chain code in um, Go, implemented in Go, and it analyzes, it detects certain vulnerability patterns and will uh, point you to the location of the code that might be exploitable or might be um, the reason for a bug. What is the problem? So in the Ethereum world, it's uh, quite common that people look for vulnerabilities and they try to exploit it. And alone in 2017, um, already $300 million have been siphoned out of smart contracts. While it is not so um, prevalent in hyperledger fabric, maybe, because it's not emphasizing um, tokens or digital assets in general, it is still very desirable that um, a smart contract or the chain code um, actually implements the functionality that is intended. Um, we identified nine patterns. I will describe one in more detail later on. Um, to, to give you a little bit of an idea what, what is actually um, uh, um, working on. So five of these patterns are uh, responsible for preventing consensus. Um, four of them are more about unexpected execution might lead to, to bug, buggy code. So what does the analyzer do actually? It, as the input, it takes the source code implemented in Go and um, which is a uh, smart contract for Hyperledge Fabric chain code. It takes this input, it analyzes it, it compiles it, and the output is going to be a report which will say on what line of the source code it might be vulnerable. Um, so one of such a vulner vulnerability is uh, the read after write vulnerability. So I will walk you slowly through some chain code. I hope, um, it is, I'm, I'm not too fast, so if uh, there's some problem in understanding, don't hesitate to, to ask a question. Um, so um, we have the invoke function, which is um, in every single chain code. It is the entry point of the, of the smart contract. And um, in our example, we have a small bank, and a bank, they handle accounts. And one of such a functionality might be that they want to add some money to a certain account. So what happens in this uh, add account function? Um, so first with the get state, we will uh, retrieve the, the current amount of this account um, from the ledger. And in the next step, we will add the amount and write it back to the ledger. So this is a very simple functionality, which hopefully almost every bank implements. So in the invoke function, um, what we do, we first retrieve the arguments that are sent by the client, by the person that invoked the whole transaction. And let's say um, we take the first argument given with the transaction and um, we um, assume here that uh, everything is going well and that it's actually an integer. So I left out a lot of um, boilerplate code, such as serialization, deserialization. I think it's not so relevant. So what we want to do, we want to add a certain amount that is given with the transaction to my account. After this, there might be some other computation. And in the end, we want to um, add the second argument as well. So in the end, it's going to be two um, amounts being added to my account. So let's have a scenario. Let's say in the beginning I have 100 Swiss francs in my account. And with the transaction, there's going to be uh, 50 and 25 Swiss francs that are going to be added to my account. So we have three possible end states. What do you think is going to happen? if we execute this chain code. Second one. Um, it's either the second one or the first one. So 
it would be desirable to be the, the third one, actually, because yeah, in the end, I would feel cheated if I don't have the 175. Um, it could also be the second one, true. Um, so in the end, um, what happens, the problem is that uh, whenever during a transaction some, some um, value is written to the ledger, it will not take effect until after the transaction is finished. So um, everybody has to wait until um, the peers or the, the ordering service reach consensus and the peers have written uh, the transaction or the, 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 the uh, output sets to, to the ledger actually. So the means when I want to write to the same variable during the same transaction, then this is actually not valid and it does not happen as expected. Um, the chain code scanner would realize, okay, there has been um, a read after a write to the same variable of the ledger, and it will tell me um, on the second to last uh, line of the invoke function, this will not, or this will not um, happen as desired. What happens behind the scenes? Um, so as I said, as the input is the uh, source code of the chain code, um, the analyzer takes the source code, it compiles it to a SSA form, it will compute the control flow graph, it will compute a variable dependency graph, perform pointers analysis and call graph analysis, and with all this and the vulnerability patterns, the security patterns, it will generate the report in the end. Um, so we run this static analyzer on chain code on GitHub because this is the easiest source to actually get some, some source code. Um, so you can see how many vulnerabilities each we found in total. So we scanned 411 repositories. Um, we had some false positives, so this is always a bit of a problem. It's not a problem, but um, this is always the case in static analysis. It's either an uh, under-approximation or an over-approximation. So to be uh, sound, to, to, to make sure that we found every instance, we over-approximate the code, and therefore we have some false positives. So as you see, can you see this? Yeah. So um, we have some more coarse grained where we have more false positives relatively. We also have some more finer grained. Um, in our opinion, these findings definitely say that um, it is important to um, analyze your chain code if it's in the end of a um, of the development process or also during the development process is it definitely helps you um, track down bugs and prevent bugs as well and um, yeah if you want to see a live demo we have a um, a working version on chaincode.chainsecurity.com where it's also it's a First of all, it's a demo, and second of all, it's um, free for non-commercial use, and it can be used for every um, open source project that is on a uh, Git repository. So if there are any questions, I'm open to discuss now. Yes, please. Yeah, are you planning to include other languages? So um, back then, when we developed this um, analyzer, it was only supported Go. So this was back in uh, last year in November. Um, so we have not active plans to include other languages yet, but if we see that the market will go uh, strictly to JavaScript or to Java, then yes, of course. Yes, please. So the kind of issues, um, so as I said, um, a lot of it is, um, so a certain, a certain group is uh, because it would uh, lead to preventing consensus, so that the peers actually diverge in state and then they accidentally want to write different states to the ledger, which uh, doesn't happen. Another source would be um, non-deterministic behavior because in uh, Hyperledger Fabric, 
One of the problems, or maybe also features, is that um, it's possible to use general purpose programming languages. And not all features of a general purpose programming language make sense in a blockchain setting. And therefore, um, some libraries such as simply reading the time or uh, random number generators um, will not lead to a common state then in the end. Also, other, other stuff that is um, inherently implemented in Go, such as traver traversal of hash maps, which is always randomized, which is always non-deterministic, is uh, always a problem. And um, so in the end, it's a, it's a collection of um, unexpected behavior of the platform itself, of the framework, such as, as we saw before, read after write. Um, the other one is um, problems that come from the programming language. And the third one is um, just not bad, pra uh, just not good practice, implementation of, of good practice, such as uh, ignoring potential errors, which might lead to failure of the chain code. Thank you very much for your attention. <laughs>